here today we've got the new Smith & Wesson 45 M&P Shield. The little 9mm and 40 caliber M&P Shields have been out for a while now. This 45 version is just barely bigger than this 9mm. Not much difference at all. Weighs about 2.7 ounces more than the 9mm, but it's 45 ACP. And they made it just about as small as they possibly could, I think, because it, uh, it, the feel of it is great. It feels to me a lot better than the 9mm. I love the way they textured the grip on this thing. Just, uh, it's, it's really secure. It feels about like 80 grit sandpaper. It fits every, every place on my hand perfectly. So I was really surprised. You know, when they told me, they emailed me a few weeks ago and asked that I want to uh, review the M&P Shield 45. And I said, sure, I'll, I'll be glad to review it. But uh, I just figured, well, it's just, a, you know, just slightly bigger uh, than the 9mm Shield, which it is. But it's, it's more than that. It just feels just right. It shoots just right. It shoots really easily. Uh, the, uh, the trigger reset on this, I like better than on the 9mm shield. I don't know if they've improved that over the last couple of years or not, but this has only got about a quarter inch travel in the reset, and it's a very positive reset. So that's no problem at all. The sights are really well. They're snag free, Novak style, uh, the three dot uh, pattern, two white dots on the back, one on the front. They are steel sights. They've also got a little bit of texturing right here to help with moving that slide if you need to. Yeah, the slide's not too hard to operate if you do a push-pull on it like this. Works really well and uh, uh, to lock that slide back. The magazines come with it. You get two with it. You get a six-shot mag and a seven-shot mag, which is slightly extended below the base. Gives you that extra shot, so if you're carrying a spare mag, might as well be as small as possible. Um, on on your, the one you got in your pocket, and then have the one with the extension to pop in it. You can also use... Uh, there's some longer mags on the market that uh, for the 9 and the 40, I'm sure there will be soon too, for the 45 version. As uh, far as lasers, uh, Crimson Trace, uh, if they don't have it out by now, they should have a laser out pretty soon for this uh, m &P 45 shield because it's pretty much the same size as the 9. And now that uh, just a couple of weeks ago, I got the announcement that Smith & Wesson has bought Crimson Trace, so I'm pretty sure that there will be a Crimson Trace laser forever Smith & Wesson in the product line, which is good to know. Maybe they'll even make some for some of the older ones, the old uh, third gen uh, Smith & Wessons. I really like them, like 10 millimeter and 45. They didn't make a laser grip for that, it would be ideal. But back to this little thing, you got a stainless steel slide with a black hard coating on it. Uh, gives it a, a matte, dull finish, black polymer grip frame. Like I said, it's got a nice trigger to it. Uh, the trigger is really crisp for a weapon of this type. It uh, comes in about five and a half pounds on my scale resistance. The magazine release, easy to hit. If you're left-handed like me, I like to use my trigger finger. Right-handers, they use the thumb as normal. Plenty of room in the trigger guard. Uh, very thin in the grip section of this. And again, I'll compare it to this uh, nine millimeter. It's just about the same. And I'll compare it to my Glock 30S. You know, 30S holds a few more rounds but it is so much fatter through the grip than this uh, m and shield. It's also longer, it's also a little heavier, it's just bigger overall, but I, I really like the, the handling quality and the carrying of this shield better than I do my 30S. I like the 30S, good weapon, nothing wrong with it at all. The shield's just a little bit smaller, a little more compact, a little easier to conceal, a little easier to carry every day, uh, and you got the 45 ACP power. Uh, as far as the loads on it, you know, the uh, uh, normal 230 grain hardball, pretty easy to shoot. Some of the high-powered stuff gets a little snappy. One of my favorite loads, or two of them really, I like this 185 grain hollow point from Double Tap. It really comes out of here. It's plus P rated. Really like that one, but it's uh, it's got a little snap to the recoil, but it's, it's not painful with the grip on this little shield. Same with this Buffalo bore. If you got a really penetration stuff, they got a 255 grain hard cast load here, which is uh, it's shaped uh, pretty much uh, makes the profile a standard 230 grain hardball. So it feeds great, and ain't going to hang up on anything, but got more power. That's a good load from Buffalo Boy. Uh, as far as mags, like I mentioned, uh, of course, 1911 mags are not going to work in it. If anybody's uh, 
curious about that. I've already been asked about that once. Oh, they do not. These uh, Smith Wesson uh, mag bodies are a little bit wider. Then they reduce down to single stack at the top. So they're not really a double stack, but they're semi staggered in there. Uh, so you need a particular Smith Wesson mag. MSRP on it is $479 US as the date of this review comes out, which is not bad at all. It's a really good price for it. Uh, if you uh, need to find a order these online you can go to galleryofguns.com click on the gun genie uh, and you can uh, get bids from different dealers in your area competing for your business to save you this shield uh, if you're looking for a smith wesson dealer in your area go to lipsy.com click on the dealer finder and it'll tell you where you can buy uh, smith wesson products uh, from a dealer in your local area anyway we're going to shoot a little have a little fun and uh, so check it out. Uh, these, are, these are available now. They started shipping a while back. That's why I was a little late getting a review done on this because I wasn't in no hurry to get on it. Wasn't as excited about it when I heard about it as I am now that I shot the thing. So I really like it. Dandy little pistol, as Todd Perry would say. And uh, we're going to have a little fun with it. here the six shot mag and the seven shot mag both of them uh, I find it a lot easier to load using something like this up loader from mag loader to load them because the spring is a little stiff in there it's a little hard to get that last one or two in there but with this Lula makes it really easy not a problem at all but uh, if you don't have one of these I recommend you get you one if you're gonna be shooting pistols it really makes it easier to load this mag We'll shoot some of the Buffalo Bore 255 grain plus P hard cast stuff. Now this is as heavy a recoiling 45 ACP load as you're going to find anywhere. This little shield still handles it with no pain. Pretty easy to control. It jumps a little bit, but you can get right back on target. Here's another good plus P load if you want a good hollow point. This is from Double Tap. It's 185 grain jacket hollow point. It's a, a really powerful load. Got a little more recoil than your normal 45 stuff, but once again, this little shield handles it well for such a small pistol. Another load I'll demo here, use a lot lighter bullet, 165 grain plus P uh, Powerball from Corbon. So it is plus P rated, but the lighter bullet gives you a little uh, bit quicker. Uh, time between shots you can, you can get back on target a little quicker because the recoil is less for a good uh, powerful plus P load
Out here today we got the new, uh, well we don't got the new. I'll start off. We got anything today? No, nothing. Okay. Look at them goofballs. 